All right, this is fifth grade, module six, lesson six. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue investigating patterns with vertical and horizontal lines. Uh, this lesson really brings to mind for me uh, just tons and tons of vocabulary. Parallel, perpendicular, coordinate, axis, uh, distance. Oh, man, there's just so many vocabulary words. So parents and teachers, this is a great opportunity. If you haven't already done so, make a word wall on your wall back here uh, that allows your students, especially your language learners, to consult the vocabulary uh, as they are learning the math. We don't want the words themselves to prevent students from accessing that high quality math. So let's get started on this. One of the things that strikes me when I look at all this stuff is just how many words there are and how much stuff is going on on the screen. So parents and teachers, you're going to need to watch for your students who might, you know, from a, a sensory point of view, might be overloaded by all this and, and help them scaffold it in some way if you want. You can go to EngageNewYork.org, download the word files, and you can essentially... Uh, cut this up so that the students are given one set of directions per page. That might be a little less, you know, from a, it might be a little less visually overloading for some students. But anyway, let's get going. It says plot. Up here it says plot and label the following points. And you'll notice our axes, our coordinates, are now in decimals. Uh, and because this is 0.5, I'm going to assume this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Yeah, so each of these are, have been cut into a tenth. And remember, we learned that this is five tenths, right? So each one of these is a tenth. 0 0.1 is one tenth. 0 0.2 is two tenths, right? So if we're going to plot this, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. So that's 0 0.4 on the x coordinate and 0 0.4 on the y coordinate and so that is right there there is our letter c and then we have right here it says 1.1 on the x coordinate and 0.4 on the y coordinate so that's going to be way over here and we're going to label that a and i'm starting to see a pattern a little bit no oh, no no i thought i was i was going to see that all the y coordinates were going to be 0.4, but I was, I was wrong. I was looking for a pattern, but it's not there. So let's do s. So 0.9 on the x coordinate, 0.5 for the y coordinate. And so that's going to be 0.9 and 0.5 right there. And that's s. And then last one, t, 0.9 and 1.1. So 0.9 on the x coordinate, 1.1 on the y coordinate. So that ends up being right here. And that is t. So now that we've plotted our points, now we're basically just going to go through all these directions. I'm not really going to do all of them because once we've plotted the points, I think following the directions gets a little easier. Use a straight edge to construct your line segments. Now this thing, we need to recognize that's the line segment CA. Line segment means it, the line isn't going to go forever. So they want us to just use a straight edge to go from C to A, and that's it. And then they also want us to cons construct a segment that goes from S and T. There you go. There's your two line segments. So we just did A, and this is name the line segment that is perpendicular to the x and parallel to the y. So which one of these is perpendicular to the x-axis? Well, it's going to be st, and it's also parallel to the y-axis. So lots of vocabulary, parents and teachers, perpendicular, parallel, x-axis, y-axis, segments, straight edge. Man, this is a word wall waiting to happen. And, oh, let's do, um, let's do C, I guess. I mean, D. Plot a point on CA and name it E. Okay, so I will plot a point right there. I just plotted a point. I will name it E. And then it says, plot a 
plot a point on the line segment ST and name it R. Sure, there's my point, and I will name it R. And then it says write those coordinates uh, down here. So where is E? Well, E is at point 6 on the X coordinate and point 4 on the Y. Point 6 and point 4. So 0 0.6, 0 0.4 uh, is E. And then R, way over here, looks like it's point 9 on the X coordinate, coordinate X axis, and point 9, wow, that's a coincidence, and point 9 on the Y. So that's going to be 0 0.9, 0 0.9. So here, this is just more of that same kind of concept. I'm uh, just <clears throat> lots of directions for the students to follow. And first step says construct and label lines E, R, S, and O. Oh my goodness! And then here's your directions. E is going to be three point seven five units above the x-axis. So what does that mean? It's going to be, here's the x-axis, and here's the y-axis, and it's going to be 3.7 above the x-axis. So we're going to go up to 3.7, oh wait, 3.75 I think it was. Yeah, 3.75 above the x-axis. Yikes! Above the x-axis. And so the line is, where's 3.75? 3.75 is right here. And so the line is going to be, and because it says line, not line segment, it means it's going to go forever in both directions, and we're going to label that E. And that's the idea. So as we are working, uh, the next one says R is 2.5 units from the Y axis. All right, right here. R is 2.5 units from the Y axis. So what does that mean? That means y, 2.5 from the y. Well, here's our 2.5 from the y, and so our line is going to go like this, straight up and down. And I forget what letter that was. What letter was that? That's letter R. And so you get the idea. We are just going to continue <coughs> making these graphs. We're going to follow these directions. And the idea, parents and teachers, is to allow our students the opportunity to carefully follow the directions. And really, what you'll notice, we've got decimals, we've got fractions, we've got tons of vocabulary. Farther, parallel, perpendicular, passes through. That's kind of a vocabulary phrase, math phrase. We've got region. Man, we've got just tons and tons of vocabulary. So parents and teachers, go slow in order to go fast. Allow your students the opportunity to grapple with all of those vocabulary words in order to really um, have access to the high-level math content. And that wraps up 5th grade Module 6, Lesson 6. We're investigating patterns with vertical and horizontal lines.